Hi, I'm Bob Ross. Welcome to our painting night. Today, I'm going to teach you how to paint this beautiful painting here using all of these colors and brushes. So, follow along at home. Okay, so we're going to start with a decent amount of white. Um, really load up, hopefully, oh no, Bob Ross made a mistake. Hopefully you'll get just white, and hopefully you have a brush and not a sponge at home. But we're gonna go with it, cause there are no mistakes, only happy accidents. So, we're gonna put a stripe of white right down the middle. We want it pretty thick, thick coat. There we go, nice and even. And don't worry about that blue that we got in there. It's all gonna be okay. So, since we're making a sunset, we're gonna have the warm reds and yellows go up and merge with the blues at the top. So we're gonna start with the, um, with the yellow. And so we're gonna pick up yellow on that same sponge and just start right at the bottom of the white strip, start blending that yellow in. There we go. Nice yellow. And it, do you see how it blends up with the white? <laughs> so we're gonna pick up some more yellow, bring it down so that this is really wet and thick. Some red and some yellow on the other end. Line up the yellow with the yellow. Make a nice stripe. This should start blending in. Make a nice orange as we move down. Go back up and blend it back up. Then we're gonna pick up some more red, some more yellow, and do the same thing. Just moving up a little bit. And then back down. It's a little bit streaky, but that doesn't matter. We're just gonna turn that into clouds um, as we move on. Okay. Then moving. Clean off our brush a little. Go back into the yellow and try and even it out here. There we go. Nice and smooth and then bring that down. Then we're gonna do our very last stripe at the bottom of the sunset. We're gonna go straight into the red. And there we go, put down that red. Obviously you can do this with any colors you want. I've just gone with these because they remind me of sunsets at home. But the sunsets differently everywhere. You can definitely use colors that remind you of your home or of something that's not real at all. Use your imagination. Hope Acacia doesn't get mad at me for getting paint all over this easel. <laughs> there we go. Then we're just gonna lightly bring this back up. All done. Um, so now, just gonna clean this brush, dip it in some water. Brush it off onto this giant paper towel. Decide it's too dirty to use. Pick up a different brush. That's the beautiful thing about this. You learn as you go. So we're gonna go back into the white, make a nice stripe of it, and then right where it was, but oh no. <laughs> That's okay, right where it was before. Put it down again. The sponge doesn't like us clearly, but that's okay. We can make it work. It's just gonna be a little gray. We will cover that with clouds. We're gonna go in with the blue, take some, Mix it with the white. We're not going to need any more pure white anymore. Put some blue down and then drag it down so that it starts to blend with the white that we had in the middle. Grab some more blue, just straight blue this time. 
and get the top. Evidently this easel doesn't like it when I paint the top of this canvas, so it's okay. I'm just gonna help it with our hands. Grab some more blue. Just fill up any spaces that we missed. Make the blue a little darker at the top. As you can tell, that's the night sky up there starting to come in. There you go, now you have a sunset background. We're just gonna wait for this to dry um, before we move on to our next step. Okay, so now we're gonna add some clouds to this painting. Um, so we're gonna start at the top and work our way down. There's gonna be lighter clouds at the top, and as we move down, the clouds are gonna get darker. This is because clouds reflect light, so you're learning some science too. So we're gonna start with some white. We're just gonna put down the outline of the clouds and just blend up. Just blend up the clouds fade up. We're just going to do a few more of these really light clouds. Um, so as you're doing this, think about how you want the final thing to look at the end. Think about how cloudy your sky is going to be. Think about if you're going to put anything else in the sky. I might add a moon. I might add some stars. We'll see. And so just think about how you want it all to come together up some more white and add some highlights in some different places. Add some small little wispy clouds here like this. Because clouds are reflective, they're going to pick up some different colors from the sky. So we're going to take some yellow. Yeah. So we're going to take some yellow. Think about where the yellow is, and think about right where it would hit on the bottom of the clouds. Make sure you're only putting yellow on top of the white. Try not to put any yellow straight down on the blue. We don't want green. That's not how the clouds are. Um, right there. some nice lighter clouds. And if you make a mistake with a cloud, don't worry too much because we will be adding trees to this. Um, gonna go and I'm gonna grab some more white because I don't like how dark that cloud is. I'm gonna take some white. I'm gonna put some light yellow on there. Just changing up the way it looks. Not doing anything too crazy. Just, I'm just putting down little lines where I think they'd look good. We're gonna have some coming down here and then merging, just merging really gently with the sky that's already down here. Okay, so then we're gonna go to our next level of cloud, which is gonna be orange clouds. So gonna just take some red and mix it into the yellow. I think I'm okay with this, seems fine to me. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna put in some orange clouds. And then with this orange color that I've made, I'm gonna go and put some shadows on my original clouds up here. Just at the bottom of the clouds, just where I think a shadow would be. And this also just ties the clouds together. So you understand that they're all in the same sky. There's no special clouds. Or they're all special clouds in their own ways. Gonna have these fade up. And then I'm gonna mix some white into this. Same way I did with the yellow. It's gonna add some highlights. Just some parts that aren't quite as dark. So you can see I'm sort of pulling all these clouds down towards this point here. That's it. 
we're definitely we're going to take some of this now, these lighter yellow orange ones, and we're going to put them on this dark part here. And we're going to pick up paint from down here and bring it up. So different types of clouds in the sky. And the good thing about these is that you don't have to be neat. You can be pretty messy, and it'll still turn out pretty well. Grab some straight up red, make these dark clouds down here. Blend here. Come back up, smooth this out. Just, I'm just adding details where I feel like they should go. There's no rules. There's no real way to do this other than what you feel is right. Then we're going to take some purple that I mixed earlier. We're going to put that down with the red clouds. And that's going to be the shadow color on these darker clouds down near the bottom. These colors are going to mix together and they're going to look muddy and that's okay. That's part of it. I'm going to clean my brush and we're going to add a new layer of clouds. So all this means is that these clouds are maybe either closer to us than those clouds are or they're further away in the sky. You get to decide. So for these, I'm just going to make purple and pink clouds. Grab some purple. I'm just gonna put down these little purple clouds. And you see how they're they're on top of the other clouds? They're not the same. They're their own, their own little family. Put some darker shadows on there. Some more. They're up in the sky. Maybe that's a trail that an airplane left. Or two airplanes. They're friends. Some more small clouds, just wherever you like them to be. Just grab one, some blue, one this in, make a nice dark color, and just finish off. There we go, we're done with our sky. Now we're gonna add the trees. So there's a few different ways you can paint trees and we're gonna go through quite a few of them right now. I'm gonna start with a kind of big brush. Um, definitely not the biggest we've used, but it has some size to it. I'm gonna pick up some brown. Just get a lot of brown on that brush. And then just a tiny bit of black to make it darker. I'm gonna come back up. I'm gonna think. I'm gonna decide where I want these trees to be. So I think I want one big tree here and maybe one big tree here. So I'm just gonna put down leaves. And this doesn't have to be very neat. Um, and it doesn't have to be very dark for now. It's just a plan. We're just thinking about where we're gonna put things in. We just need shapes. So this way also, if you have any clouds that you don't really like, like I don't really like this guy here, you can just cover him up with a tree. That poor cloud, I was just so mean to him. Make sure you leave some space in between the leaves where light can come in. 
because you can always see the sky through the trees. It's always there a little. I'm looking for this so I remember what I did. And I'm gonna put another tree in right here. It's the same thing. Just his leaves, just putting them down. Black and brown. Gonna go back in and make this tree's leaves a little darker now. And maybe add some smaller ones, just using the tip of my brush. So just put a little bit of paint right on the very tip of this. And we're just tapping it lightly, just to put in some details. I think I'm gonna put a big tree on this side too. Or maybe a different type of tree to this one. Just start up here. Put some down. This one's quite a bit darker, he has. He has more leaves on him. Just putting down the leaves. Not thinking too much about it. They'll go where they need to end up. So now I'm happy where I've put down my big trees. I think, I think they're where they need to be. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna darken them up just to make them really live there, put them where they belong. And then I'm gonna start on the next step. So now that we have all these leaves up here, it is a colorful night out. There is a lot of light in the sky and some of that is gonna reflect onto the trees. So what I'm gonna do to show that is I'm gonna grab a little bit of red paint and I'm gonna mix it with the brown. So we're just gonna get a very dark red. Right here. I'm gonna take this red paint, just a little of it. And I'm gonna put this right here, just to show some light reflecting on the trees. Just a little, don't need to go too crazy. But what this does is this pulls the trees out and it brings them to our attention. And it really makes them part of the rest of the painting, the rest of the world. Now that all of this is done, we're gonna add some trunks to these trees. So for this, I'm just gonna grab black. And this is all using the same brush, but you can use a different size if you want to. I'm gonna bring, think about where the trunk of this tree might be. I'm gonna bring it down. I'm gonna add some branches in. And then I'm gonna cover it with leaves. I think maybe. There's a branch here, and he meets the rest of the tree. There we go. And then I'm gonna bring this branch out here, and I'm gonna add some more leaves here. Then I'm gonna put another tree down here. Then this tree here. It's a big tree. Or maybe we're only seeing part of it. It'll go off the canvas. Put some branches in. I'm gonna switch to a smaller brush. Still working with those same colors. This is just so that we can put some, some smaller branches in. Maybe this is its own little tree down here. And 
and we have some trees in the background there that we can't quite see. Okay, and now we're going to drop some more trees into this picture. So just think about where you want them and then put them in. It's not very hard. They're just lines. And you can go in and add to the leaves whenever you want. You can go add those red highlights whenever you want. There's no rules. All right, so I think to finish up, we're just gonna put in some telephone poles. Just look at this, I'm just grabbing some black. Painting straight down. And just drop some poles in. If you don't want to do the step, you can just add more trees. It's always an option. I'm going to put a little forest in the background once I'm done with this. But we're going to go to our smallest brush now. And we're going to add the wires. And we're gonna add some little birds. So just a little circle, make his little body, and then give him a tail and a beak. There we go. Now we have some birds. And then we're just gonna put some more small trees in the background. And this is really easy. We're just making some squiggly lines. Nothing too crazy. Small trees. And maybe some of these trees have leaves too. So you just put down little dots. Or wherever you want to put them. And then we're all done. Don't forget to sign your painting. Um, I like to sign mine with the back of my brush. Just dipping it in a little paint and then writing my initials on there. This may say KM, but don't be fooled. I'm actually Bob Ross, BR. And you're all done. Thanks for painting with us. KM, what's your name? Here in Mabub. I'm the RAN 922. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nope, these are awesome. Thank you so much. No problem. <laughs> Here, I'll go.